about the rice you secured inside the garage. We've ascertained that it's micro-machine rice that's primarily exported abroad. Why was Fuwa carrying this grain and not weapons? We'll have to investigate and find out what the implications are. Togasa, you head to Nihamayu and reinvestigate that five-year-old Fuwa incident. Right, Chief. Gotta do my homework over, huh? Fuwa and on smuggling. And now micro-machine rice. So far we found the individual points, but there's still no hint of a line that connects them. Based on the trail of money from the Tohoku region, along with the records of Fuwa turning up in Nihama, I checked the IR records limiting the search to that region. Fuwa is shown standing in the Nihama station of the Tohoku Linear Rail. At this point, he's not a Jameson type. And for the past seven years, Fuwa has been renting a storage unit. I'd say the odds are good that his prosthetic body is stowed away in there. Major, head over to the warehouse and check whatever it is that Fuwa left there. Understood? Roger. With this much humidity, optical camouflage is pointless. This is the Major, now carrying out mission. I'll come give you a lift when I'm done with my little errand. You will, huh? I'll be waiting with low expectations. Verify Takeru Fuwa's belongings inside the warehouse. Roger. That warehouse is going to have a clear control center for personal links. It's not a case of getting money inside. Its reputation is really famous among the people in the know. Even if we shut it down, we can't backtrack the goods. The local cops haven't wasted time either. door lock mechanism is controlled from that terminal there. If we give it the personal authorization Fuwa recorded when he signed the contract, we can pinpoint the container with the cargo. Togusa here. I'm starting my Nihama University investigation. 
A university in the spooky dead of night was this. Come on, would you lay off that stuff? About Fua's enrollment records, they've been semantically filtered. It's possible that they were intentionally deleted. Bounce the records over here to me. I'll analyze them. Touch coma. Don't you guys have more important things to do? No fear, Mr. Ishikawa. You have all the fun. When I used the authorization code that the Major obtained, some secret files popped out. They were probably hidden away in there by Fua five years ago. About that authorization just now, it matched Fuwa's cyberprint. Pazu here. I have confirmation of multiple vehicles heading towards the warehouse. Prosthetic bodies of the same type as the ones from the pier were inside. Saito here with confirmation too. Must be enemy reinforced. I'll try to slow him as much as I can, but I can't cover him inside the warehouse. Okay, we'll come up with something. <laughs> About those records Tokusa forwarded. There's a possibility that they were forcibly deleted from the outside. 54 points of similarity to the virus confirmed at the pier. More than likely it's the same type. I tried each and every terminal, but besides this, no other records of Fua turned up. Records don't only exist in terminals. I'm starting to wonder why I scouted you from Police HQ. Understood. The virtual cyber prints left in the prosthetic bodies were identical to the Jameson type. It had to be Fuwa himself. I'll check out the memory box. Looks like it's encrypted. I'll decrypt it over here. Boma, give me a hand. Roger. You say something? No, nothing. 